my beautiful boys and girls, my cancer rights. It's me, the cancer man, back at it again with some more ReZero Season 2. I got episodes 20 to 23 ready, up and running. Let's go ahead. Uh, last time was pretty great. We got to... Uh, we got we got some pretty crazy backstory on Emilia, some crazy lore dump. I have more theories that I could ever imagine, and they're all wrong. They're all wrong, cause uh, who knows, man? I can never tell. I could have never predicted any of that. And now we are confronting uh, Roswell. Uh, uh, yeah, and we're confronting him, and um, we're I don't know. We're just we're gonna be like, hey, fuck you, and he's like, okay. That's pretty much what's going on. Uh, he took notice of Otto, uh, Otto, and um, and he's like, you know what, Otto, I like you. And I, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think you want to be liked by Roswell. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and let's get started. I don't really have a lot of time because yeah, I'm always out of time. It's a crazy. It's crazy. I'm. Yeah, okay. Episode, alright, ReZero, Season 2, Episode 20, in 3, 2, 1, play. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm assuming... What is happening? A grave illness. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Of course. Man. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Yo. Like, oh, my God. Um, maybe? Directly, what? Period. <laughs> Ross was a period. <laughs> Wait, you guys. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, really? Really? Okay. What the fuck? Okay, and this is how Roswell is like. Obsessed with her. This is, this is the start of it all. Occasionally. What the? What a start. What the fuck? Oh my god. What a fucking start. Wow. <laughs> this is a weird trio. Really? <laughs> Did she kiss you too? Oh, I see. Gotcha. Oh, wow. What do you mean by bested, though? What does that mean? Oh, 
<laughs> what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> wow. It's interesting. I just noticed we never get to see her eyes. Interesting. I want to know. I don't know. They know, but I don't know. What the fuck? <laughs> Much more refined than that. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> what a, this is a great trio. I mean, yeah, reading is good. Reading is good for you. Whoa. Yeah, Beatrice doesn't mind. Yeah, especially if it's a simple task. He is here? Who the fuck is he? Who the fuck? What the... Who is this? New character. Gathering the barrier? What the hell? But why is she making the sanctuary anyway? Oh, 
Is she the core? Oh, that's right. Huh, I mean... To drive away the current threat. spell damn Damn. I, I'm so surprised that Ekendona would be whoa would would be a would wouldn't be so I don't know, understanding I guess. Who the fuck is this guy? What the fuck is going on? Why does he look so malnourished? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? This is me like every day I wake up. <laughs> Jesus, Russell's taking... I was like, what is happening? How is he not dead? Yeah, me too, actually. Whoa, wait, what? Oh my god, I missed the name, fuck. Hector A devil Interesting Oh my god How is Roswell still alive? Ha <laughs> 
how considerate. Whoa, whoa, okay, whoa. Oh, there it is, the crystal. Or the core, I guess. Oh, you care about him. She realized that, yeah, yeah, she realized that she found out. No, no you cannot. There's no way. That guy seemed really OP. Damn. So So the sanctuary was really built for this one good dude.
<laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Assuming that story is true, this motherfucker. Really? You're not going to surrender to us? Hey, one one merrier. Oh, ho, ho. Wow. <laughs> it's still calling Subaru a boss. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Wow. On on what? On what? Wow. God damn, Russell's so heated.
Huh? Huh? Ho, 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 ho. The stance, the stance. Oh my god. Oh my god, what? Oh wow. Oh man, that was awesome. Oh fuck. That was really good. Oh my god, dude, that was nuts. I don't even know what to say to any of that. I don't want to say to any of that. Ending? Uh, new ending? I don't know if this is new or not. I guess I'll watch it just in case. I'll turn on the volume. Oh no, this is not the volume. That's not the volume. That's not the volume at all. Okay, 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 okay. I'll let the play out, I guess. <laughs> wow. That was... Oh, but that was really... That was awesome. That stare down between Roswell and Subaru was really, really cool. And, you know, when, they, when, when he first said that he was just like Subaru and how him and Subaru were alike... I didn't really know, I didn't know what he was talking about, and it just, like, came up to me, like, it made sense to me as he was saying it and as he was explaining it to me, which was really cool, uh, that I caught on to that while he was explaining it, so, that was awesome, like, and I also love the imagery of their, uh, not silhouettes, their, uh, their faces overlapping each other, it's pretty cool, and I, I think they happened before, actually, a while ago, I don't remember if it was the season or last season. But they really are similar. They're like the yin and yang, I guess, right? As Super pointed out in the as what he said that he f put forth his ideals into Amelia in like strength and believing in changing one's feelings and you know whatever whatever Super said. Well, Roswell is the opposite of that with Akinda and stuff like that. Also, it's really strange that uh, okay. I don't even know what to talk about. I don't, I don't know. I don't want. To, I don't know what I want to talk about. Uh, I guess like Akinda speaking with her, it's really odd how her personality is very different than how she is now. I. I don't know. I don't know if that's weird. I don't. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading way too much into it. I think, but her personality, like the way she is, is less. Um, I don't even know, like, less, less cartoony, not cartoony, uh, like, less, like, I don't know what the word I'm looking for, exotic, I guess, like, she's, like, super, well, I don't know, maybe that's just the way how she carries herself in front of, you know, Roswell, um, Betty, and, uh, Rizu, 
So, I guess that's just how she is, I guess. Um, I don't know, but she was, like, really concerned. and She didn't want to go with the plan to do the core with the uh, Resiu and all that stuff, right? So, the fact that she was like that is really interesting because it's not something I would think she would do on a no normally. Uh, I guess me. I don't know. I don't know. Like, the way she was, like, acting was really strange. Uh, maybe that... Maybe there is something to that. Maybe there's, like, a hint towards that. Because I don't know if I said... I don't know if I finished my thought or if I said my thought or I explained it. But it was... I just pointed out in this in this episode, I pointed out that it's interesting that we never get to see her eyes. So we never really get to see her face other than, like, her lips, I guess. Like, I, I, I'm pretty sure that's, like, intentional, maybe. Uh, and I'm assuming that kind of coincides with how she's acting and how she is carrying herself, uh, her personality in this era of her life than we, where we see her now, where she's like a little bit more psychotic, right? But I, I don't know, maybe we're seeing it, the, the memory that Subaru, like the memory of, you know, Maybe it could be like a trick thing where we're seeing this uh, through Rizu's eyes, basically. Her perception, her POV. So that's what maybe Roswell said it, like the way he said it to him. Like, how do you know that story is true or whatever the fuck? So, maybe who knows what his POV is like. Um, maybe that could be it, actually. Maybe that could be actually be it, actually. I don't know. It's uh, pretty strange. And uh, who the fuck was that Hector guy? That guy was crazy. Crazy. That guy was nuts. That guy was so strong. That guy was... Also, how is Roswell still alive? What the fuck? What was Roswell made of? Literally, the guy said that he punctured his heart his lungs he broke every bone in his body Russell still kept getting up like what the fuck what did she what did Ekinda give Roswell like what the hell also what's up with that disease that pure that magic period disease that Roswell had at the beginning of the episode I, I feel like that's such a I feel like that's way too big of a thing to like just throw away you know I feel like I feel like that might come back or something or maybe not I feel like that's just like weird thing to Oh, just, I don't know, like, a weird thing to, to add. I guess, like, a, like, a, like, a, like, a crux. Not a crux, but, like, a, something to have in order to be resolved by Akinda for Roswell to be like, oh, my God, I'm going to simp all over you. Simp, 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 simp. As he said, he's been sipping over her for 400 years. So, you know, and that's why he has that mentality he's had of, like, weakness or whatever the fuck, and feelings never changing, because his feelings ultimately never changed for Akinda, I guess, which is, uh, I mean, that's kind of fucked up, like, the man has been alive for 400 years, and he has never changed, ever, like, that's just, it's almost impossible, it's literally almost impossible, and also, like, very, like, inhuman, maybe that's why he considers himself not human, I guess, because of that trait that he has and that ideology, that fucked up ideology he has. Um, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like Roswell, I feel like the Sanctuary arc, right? Like, this is not like, and like, it almost seems like, I feel like we're getting duped. I feel like this almost seems like, this was his grand plan that he's had since season one, like, to do whatever the fuck it is to do in the Sanctuary. I don't know what. He's trying to achieve some sort of goal in the Sanctuary. And, you know, whatever. I feel like that must have been his great plan. Uh, I don't know what. Uh, we still don't know. There's a lot of things we don't know. I feel like that's where the anime is heading towards. And I feel like maybe once it's all resolved, Roswell becomes one of the... Bandido Amigos, I guess. Um, and I feel like that's where it's leading me on towards. But I am very doubtful on that. I highly doubt it. I feel like there's way more. Like, Roswell's been alive for 400 years. So there's more. I feel like there's way more 
I feel like we're like just scraping the surface on his character. I feel like there's way more to his like what his uh, his ambitions are, what his plans are, and I feel like this is just one step towards uh, what he wants to achieve, I guess. And maybe ultimately he wants to revive Akinda. Maybe that could be his ultimate achievement or like his goal, maybe, or I don't know, some something some of that. Uh, like I said, uh, I completely went on a tangent. I completely diverted the conversation. I actually I wanted to talk about the Hector guy, the devil. Uh, I forgot what they what his uh, uh, name for his like little namesake they gave him, but his name was Hector. This guy seemed OP as fuck. I want to say he had unseen hand, but at the same time, like. I mean, come on. I mean, no, not on hand, but it feels like he was part of the witch's cult, or not, or at least Pandora's cult. It looks like, um, at least it looked like he was one of the bishops. I think maybe, because the bishops for Pandora's cult, uh, who I'm assuming is like the end game villain now, um, besides uh, Set uh, Setala, I'm assuming that um. That all of the all of her, or her bishops or whatever the fuck have like an unseen ability, like an unseen like you can't see their powers. Like the uh, uh, I forgot the other guy, the the, the greed guy. How um, oh, I forgot his name. Such a C. Ah oh, fuck. Ah, uh, uh, Cornelius. No, not Cornelius. Ah, uh, I don't remember. But that guy, right? Uh, I feel like he had like an unseen ability, and you know, uh, Bittlegeese, um, he had his uh, unseen hand, right? So I'm assuming it's not unseen hand, but I'm assuming it's something similar or something like that, which correlates to him being like an archbishop. Why was he glowing, and why was he like insane? I don't know. And why did they need to make a sanctuary? And why? Ah, there's so many questions, like. Was he ordered to hunt them down? Uh, did what, what is going on? I don't know. I, I thought Setala was the one that killed all the witches, not Pandora. What the fuck? Uh, what is going on? I'm I'm so confused. Hopefully, those answers get those answers. Hopefully, those questions get answered within the next few episodes. Otherwise, I'm gonna forget about them and I'm gonna repeat this entire fucking rant. God damn. All right, uh, let's just go ahead and let's get started with episode, episode three zero, season two, episode twenty one, in three, two, one, play. For real. Huh? Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. What are those?
Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I thought we were leaving already. Okay. Wow, they... Okay, we're getting the OP, I guess. They rarely play the OP, but... Whatever. I guess we'll enjoy it for now. I kind of forgot how this OP went. I kind of forgot how it went. <laughs> Damn, this... <laughs> This, this opening has so many spoilers. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. This song's really... I think... I want to say... That I like this song... Out of all the OPs... Um, opening wise, I think I still like the first one, like structurally, but the song, this is like definitely the better version for sure. Out of all the ones we've heard. Oh man, I'm so tired. I'm like crashing right now. <laughs> the three idiots. The three amigos. The three musketeers. I hope they call themselves that. Thank you, Ram. Wow. What? <laughs> what did it mean the other times? A cry baby. <laughs> I don't know if we'll ever save him, to be fair. I truly don't think so. Wow.
right for real I guess we'll have to save Roswell somehow Saw someone. Oh man. This is interesting. This is very interesting. Ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> wow. Fuck. <laughs> Roswell saying some, 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 some crazy stuff. Nani? Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, man. I think me and Russ were a little too alike. I can kind of... Okay. Emilia... Pull me back. I'm 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 waiting. I'm waiting too much to the dark side. I'm very pessimistic, and so oh, I don't know. I oof. oh. 
Well, you're going to have to accept it, buddy. Wait! Never mind. The world will end? Towards its end, this world has also from the correct path and is not pursuing towards the wrong destination. Really? Going back in, bro. Even relax. She's going right back into it. Holy shit. For real. As a knots. Dude, man. Man, Roswell, what the fuck? Your wish. Three conditions. I personally know why are you here? <clears throat> Delusions.
Well, well, I mean, I guess. Ooh, the, the book to see the future? Ah, yes. Sure. It doesn't, then why are you here? Oh, so you were the one that made the snowfall. Gotcha. Oh <laughs> yeah, for real, because Ross was OP as fuck. <gasps> Wait! What the fuck? What the fuck? I never could have ever predicted that. Ever. Holy fuck. I literally could never have predicted that. Never.
fucking Elsa, bro. This bitch and her bowels. Right? For real. Uh, yeah, that would be us, I think. So I guess even the enemy forgot about Rem. <laughs> Man, we're Subaru. We're Subaru in the gang. Where are they at? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Where are they? What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? How? <laughs> that was way too convenient. He's super strong, all right. For real. Yo! No, you cannot. What <laughs> this bitch? <laughs> Oh. 
I'm so hype. <laughs> yes. Please. Please. Oh my god, please. Whoa, we're not done yet. Whoa, is that over yet? Because fuck you. <laughs> um. <laughs> that's not very nice. I don't think that's a nice thing to do. Okay, I don't know what I want to talk about first. I really don't know. There's a lot that just happened right now. Okay, first of all, Puck is back. Holy fuck. I had a feeling, I had a feeling, I had a feeling that there was some way, some way, somehow he's coming back. There's no way he was dead. There's just no way. There's no way. There was no way he was dead. There's just no way. I don't know what happened. I don't know how he's back. I don't know. I don't know when did it happen. When did it? Happen? When did Super have time to bring him back? What the fuck? When? I didn't, I literally like never thought about it. I just okay. I, he's back. I don't know. I like. I would like to think. I would like to think in a perfect world uh, that he made a contract with Subaru. That's what I like to think. That would be really cool. But I don't think that's, uh, well, maybe that's what happened. I don't know. But he's back, and he's fighting Roswell back again. Here we go again. Back to square one with the help of Ram. We're going to take him down. I am, when Roswell's like, when when Ram went to challenge Roswell, I was like, there's no way she's winning. There's literally no way she's winning. Literally, what timeline is she going to win? When? There's no way. And then the crystal and then Puck, and I'm like, bro, what? Holy shit. Now they have a chance. They easily have a chance. Puck is insanely strong. Insanely strong. He's like OP as fuck. So they're, they are they definitely have a chance. I just don't know, like, how are they going to, like, are they going to, like, exhaust Roswell or whatever? Like, how, uh, they're not going to kill him, obviously, because that's not what Ram wants. And that's not what Super. That's not what they all want. So I don't know. What they're gonna contain them, I guess. It's gonna be pretty great. I can't wait to see how that sorts out. Also, he's the bastard that's been making it snow for the other timelines and for the bunnies to come in and all that fucking bullshit. Like what the fuck? What the fuck? He's the one. He was him. It was him the entire time. It was fucking him. That motherfucking bastard. What the hell? And then. I also want to talk about how Roswell, uh, Roswell was like basically saying some pretty nuts, some pretty crazy accusations of M Amelia like copying like Subaru's like like ideologies and that's not like her true self and all this other crazy shit. And I was like, oh my god, wait. <laughs> He's actually not really wrong. Like, he's not wrong. He really isn't wrong. He's kind of right. <laughs> but then I completely forgot, like, the, the uh, all the stuff that Super said about Amelia, like, like her bad, her weaknesses or whatever. And he said that he liked that no matter what because that makes her who she is, which is true. Our weaknesses and our strengths make up for what we are. And if somebody sees you for your weaknesses and your strengths and still considers you as their friend or whatever, awesome. You know, that's great. Good, good times. Good times. Good times to be had. Yes. Cool. And of course, Roswell would not have thought about that because the man is literally inhuman, not human at all. That man forgave all emotion and only thinks a ton of, a ton of you. Uh, he has one sight. That's it. Can't think of anything more than one, two, and three. So, of course, he would be bested in that regard. But he still is kind of, in a way, right? Which, you know, is kind of interesting. But also, not. I don't know. I mean, in a way, they are... I still think 
in a way, Subaru and Roswell are still similar. I mean, Amelia says they're not, and I, I understand why she says they're not, and she is honest. She, to her credit, she is also right. But I feel at the same time, uh, to a degree, that they are. It's just that Subaru has the has the the chance to fuck up and recorrect him, his mistakes. Like he has like the potential to like um, get experience earlier on, I guess, through his like his ability, his bring a death by coming back. Right, he can die, come back. And he has a whole new experience to himself where he can improve himself, right? You know, he choose to improve himself. And, you know, he's had so much. He's gone through so much. And, you know, I would... I mean, at one point in time, for sure, Subaru and Roswell were 100% beat for beat the same exact, like, character. For sure. Especially, like, young Roswell. And projecting their ideal image to Amelia. That's, like, how it was... In uh, season one, I forgot what episode it was, but it was kind of like that, like uh, for sure. I don't know the exact episode, like the, the the one where they had like a fight or whatever the fuck. Literally like that, a hundred percent. I swear to God, like, yeah, it's crazy. Like, it, but Super has improved so much since then, right? Through you know dying and all that crap and. All the all all the experience he's gained thus far, and improving upon himself, which goes back to him versing, goes back to his like his new well not his new uh, his his ideology of your feelings being able to change and you yourself as an individual can change. Well, Roswell's still stuck in the past, saying his, that his ideology is all about not being able to change and that the weakness of indiv- individuals will always bring down individuals and there's no points there's just no points in going more going above and beyond right there's no point in going and m- learning new experiences knowing change and all that stuff because of what he's been through and what he's and I guess his experience right but that's why that's what I'm wondering what did he do in the last 400 years to, like, there's got to be more than the incident that happened in the sanctuary to make him think like this for the last 400 years. Like, I still, I still have, I still find that so hard to believe that he's been like that for 400 years. It just doesn't make sense to me. Like, what, why, what the hell? And then here we go again with, like, his big ambition of, of, a million, wanting a million to be in a throne and all this other crap. Boy. It seems like... I kind of understand why Rem is like saying things. I feel like... I, the, the, you know how I said earlier in the session how I said how the anime makes it seem like we're going in one direction? It's because Roswell himself, the character, is in... I guess being in the sanctuary has been clouded by his goal... And is now doing some other chicanery, new goal thing. And Ram is catching on to that, saying, hey, don't, don't you remember your other thing or whatever? Like, Amelia being the throne. And even him, even Russell mentioned before he went to the crystal, like, the the royal selection, the sanctuary don't matter anymore. Nothing matters anymore. That I, you know, he's given up on all that. And he just wants to do, you know, this. Wants to focus on this. So he's lost his path. And so, even if we do help him, even if we do help him, and he becomes one of our amigos, right? Yeah, if he joins our crew, he still has, he's still scheming. He still has that wish, that that wish that he he's had since season one, that we still don't know what he wants. We still don't know what that desire is. So, I wonder where that's going to ultimately end up, how his character arc is going to wrap up, how this, how is he, how is it all going to patch up for him? I don't know. That's, uh, that's to be, uh, that's to be asked. And now we have our epic fucking fight with Elsa and, um, uh, Garfield. It's going to be fucking epic. It's going to be cool. It's going to be epic. And uh, yeah, 
I'm excited, so let's go ahead and let's pull it up. Season 2, episode 22, in 3, 2, 1, play. Oh, that was pretty cool. Yeah. All the sound effects. The boss. <laughs> God damn it, Garfield. Whoa! Yeah! What a dirty move. I fucking love that. I love that. Yeah! <laughs> oh man, come on. This bitch is still smiling, like what the hell? I mean, there's still that other chick, that little girl fucker bitch, so I guess we're not in the, even if we defeat Elsa somehow. Wow. Wow. It's almost like that book is telling you that your future can be whatever you want it to be.
Ay, ay, ay. Yes, Subaru, yes. He's literally saying yes, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's very selfish. <laughs> Just one more push, Super. You had one more push. Just one more. Of course. Because maybe her her beasts are different, maybe. Oh, nice! What a save! unfair what a hit Mopata, man. Hippo, hippo. And he's a hungry boy, too, probably. Ah, uh, here's this bitch. Yeah, here she is. I don't think it worked. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it worked either. Ooh.
Yeah. There is no greater happiness. Yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, why? <laughs> what the... Rock what? <laughs> Interesting that Garf and Federica haven't gone full power yet. Um, uh, what? Wow, um, great, can't, can't, can't believe it. Oh my god, now we're, now we're... There's so many, there's so many shit, there's so much shit going on! Oh my god, there's so much shit going on, bro. Fucking ass. What is this? Maybe a timeline where none of that stuff happened? No reflection in the mirror, interesting. Oh, oh God! <laughs> don't, don't, don't remind me. Don't remind me, bro. Picnic? You go on the picnic, bro. Come on, this is hurting me. This is hurting me. How would that offend her? How would, how would any how would any of that offend her? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I see. Gotcha. <laughs> Whoa, my ear. He just let it like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> this is so funny. Ah, oh, it's too good. Why? Why did we have to suffer like this? This is awful. That looks so good. What the fuck?
To you, two young folks, what the hell? This is brutal. Fuck, bro. Ah. Ah. It hurts so much. The bishop is dead, my guy. The bishop is very dead. He's back. He's, he's alive, actually. Yeah.
<laughs> interesting, interesting. Things are getting interesting. Damn. Interesting. That's, oh man, that's really interesting. That's all I could really say about that. It sure is. Yep, she did it. Bear witness. Yes, 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 yes.
We're busy. They're very, very busy. Are we not gonna? Are we not gonna see the full fight? Come on! I want to see the full fight. Really? Already? Oh my fucking god, dude! This chick. God damn. So it's as I predicted. It's like, it's, well, it's, it's kind of obvious, right? It was kind of obvious that it was going to be like that. So the next, next one is going to be the future. At least I think, right? I don't want to sound... Okay, never mind. We're not going to see. Nice episode title. Uh, I don't know. There was... There was uh, kind of a little after credit last time, wasn't there? So I'm going to be safe and just still let it play out, I guess. And uh, we'll see what happens. Oh my god. So... <laughs> we have so much going on. There's so many fucking... <laughs> there's so many plot threads going on. There's they're, they're just everywhere right now. There's so much shit going on. I mean, it's to be expected. This arc is like... <laughs> it's like nuts. I guess, real quick, to talk about her second trial, which was literally brutal. Actually brutal. Literally beyond brutal. Like, honestly, if I were Amelia, if it had been me, if I had seen my ideal present, man, dude, I don't know if I had the strength. I don't know if I would have had the strength to, like, reject it. I don't think I would have had the strength. I'm going to be honest with you, man. I don't know if I would have. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I would have. I really don't know if I would have. Damn, that shit. That was rough. Watching that was so rough. <laughs> oh man, I love all of it. They built the story so well enough to the point where you could literally feel like how like rough that was, and then you can only imagine like it's almost like parallel to what Amelia is feeling at that time. Even though nothing is said, nothing is done. She hasn't shown that at all but you know for a fact like what you're feeling is what she's feeling times 10 so like i really like that was really cool like that was really cool like really cool i don't know i just think that's good clever writing and clever storytelling i just think that's amazing like i love when books and uh and media like this they can do something like that like build up something have you feeling a way where you're feeling that sort of way in that moment of the story and it is a reflection towards an event that is happening within the story but the story itself is not telling you to feel like this or to think like this it just happens naturally it is like it is to be assumed and it's like oh man it's like awesome it's so good so that was really cool i like that a lot not after credits apparently but that's all right um Oh, I mean, what do I want to talk about? Fuck. Uh, I didn't figure out what I wanted to talk about. Fuck. Besides that, the whole bit. Um, I can't remember. I don't remember. Besides, uh... Oh, I don't remember. No, I really don't. A lot of this episode was Amelia facing her present, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, okay, okay. So Subaru was rejected by Beatrice, uh, Beatrice, <laughs> Beatrice. and uh, <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> that was really, really funny. <laughs> are you the person? No, what the fuck? You fucking, are you an idiot? <laughs> of course I'm not that fucking person. It's just thrown out. It's just gets thrown out. That's so funny. But of course, you know, yeah, it was going to happen. I saw it, I saw it coming, kind of, but the fact that they played it off, I love that that moment was built up so seriously, and it was very serious, and, you know, that whole moment, and how, uh, B, 
Beatrice uh, leave, lived throughout her life and, um, you know, all that stuff. It was an insane, insane moment and it all ended in a gag. Like, that was great. Uh, caught me off guard completely and it was fucking fantastic. Uh, I also want to say that I wonder, I, I wonder, I almost wonder, it's almost like, I, I can't believe Super didn't say this to her personally. He only said, he said something similar to what I was thinking, well not really, uh, he said like, what if she gave you the wrong book and all that crap. I was hoping he would say, well, that tome that sees into the future and all that other crap through, you know, Akinda, like, it's all blank because, uh, hello, you can do what the fuck you want, like, Sure, you could take the representation of blank and white and all this other stuff as in, like, nothing, void, all that crap. But to me, and in that context of the tome, it's like, it, it kind of tells you that there is no set course. There's no set destination. You can do whatever you want. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure, in a way, that's what Ekinda said to Subaru within the... Uh, which tea party, whatever. She was saying, she said something kind of like that. Not really. Like, she could pick whoever she wants to be that person or whatever. And to get out herself. But, you know, she said it in a way that's fucked up, right? So, in a way, she actually did, you know, yeah. So, I don't know why Super didn't say it like that. I'm assuming saving that, like, line or whatever for the next time they meet. Because I'm assuming the next time they meet is definitely going to be... Um. Uh, well, uh, definitely gonna be like the one. Like he's gonna find her, and he's gonna convince her to leave with them, uh, break the contract, or and all that stuff, and release her and her be free. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. And but we still gotta take care of Elsa and um, the other chick. I forgot her name. I don't give a shit. I really don't care. Uh, the the friend chick uh, Maya or Mylia or Melia I don't remember I don't remember what her name was I can't remember um and with her hippo her hippo <laughs> that fucking hippo is so fucking big and also I, I feel like it's kind of funny that I already said this but Federica and um Garfield haven't gone all out yet I'm waiting for them to go out especially with Garfield I wonder oh uh, I wonder if those gauntlets he has, like, boost his powers. I mean, obviously, it sounds like they do, but, like, I want to know. I want to see what, I don't know, if it, in his, like, if his full power form, like, does it change anything other than, like, you know, whatever. So I guess we'll see what happens. Um, there's no way. I don't see, I can see them killing, um, ah. Uh, um, um, the, the little girl, uh, my, Melia, oh, fuck, I don't remember her name, how to pronounce her name, uh, something my, something May, right, M-A-Y, and then L-I-E, something like that, I don't remember, I can see them killing her, easily, for sure, no doubt, I can't, I, I can't, it's hard to imagine them getting rid of Elsa, it really is, it's so hard to see, to see that maybe she gets injured again like last time she gets gravely injured and she runs away like last time right i feel like maybe that's what could happen or they'll surprise me they'll shock me and they actually will kill her off which would be really good <laughs> that's one less villain for us to get rid of uh so i i would hope so um yeah i just don't know how i don't know i guess I wouldn't be too surprised if she gets away, is what I'm saying. Uh, so, all that is covered. We have all that covered, I guess. Uh, I guess that's it. I don't really have anything else to talk about, right? Yeah, I don't have anything else to talk about. Oh, that's right. And uh, Roswell's still fighting Ram and Puck. I want to know how that's going to go like down. I'm assuming... I mean, dude, there's no way. There's already no Roswell's going to fucking win against Puck. Against Puck? Come on. Come on. You got to be serious. I hope we get that next episode. At least at least a little glimpse. At least. At the very least. 
But we got three more episodes and we're done with season two and I'm ready for season three, which got announced, I believe, a little while ago. So, yeah, very hyped. So, I'm going to end it now. I'm going to end the session now before I get interrupted. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction, this uh, this session, and uh, I will see you guys for the finale of Bree Zero. Um, don't know what I'm replacing it with. Actually, I don't think I might replace it with anything. I'm going to probably focus on finishing up the other batches of reactions I want to do, and we'll go from there, I guess. But yeah, um, yeah, man, can't wait, cannot wait. Uh, yeah, bye-bye, bye. -bye. bye.